Good day all Interest TV viewers and listeners. In this video we are talking about Nordea and San Investment with analyst Matthias Arola. We have published an extensive report about Nordea. I urge you to read the whole report because in this video we go through, we go through only the highlights. I put the link in the description below. Matthias, first question. I think everyone knows Nordea. It's the largest bank in the Nordics. But could you tell us the main sources of income for Nordea? Yeah, the main sources of income uh, for Nordea uh, are net interest income and net commission income. Uh, net interest income represents roughly 60% of Nordea's total income and, and uh, net interest income simply means uh, the difference between uh, banks interest income and interest expenses. Uh, and about uh, net commission income, net commission income represents roughly uh, one third of, of the uh, total income of Nordea and net commission in income includes various items like, like asset management and life insurance commissions, uh, payment and lending commissions and, and other uh, advisory fees. And if you sum up these, these two, two items together, uh, both NII and, and NCI, uh, they represent uh, roughly 90% of Nordea's total income. For most of the last decade, Nordea underperformed its peers in terms of return on equity, which I think is the most important metric for a bank. But in the last few years, Nordea has had quite impressive turnaround in profitability. And now one could say that it's the star in the peer group, actually. What were the main drivers behind this improvement? Well, uh, I think that uh, the turnaround is mainly explained by a stronger customer focus uh, and, and by the fact that Nordea's uh, top line has started uh, to grow again. And, and based on my understanding, I also think that there has been a clear change uh, in Nordea's cost culture under the new management. And uh, this, this fact has also contributed positively to, uh, to, to the profitability of the bank. Usually people say that culture is strategy for a breakfast. Do you think this turnaround is structural or only attributed to the present management? Is it sustainable in the long run? Well, uh, I think it's, it's sustainable. Uh, I, I see that the actions what uh, Nurde has taken are, are, are as you said, uh, more like structural ones. And, and today, both operational and, and capital efficiency are, are at the core of, uh, of bank. And, and I, I really don't see any, any good reasons why, why Nordea couldn't be with the same profitability level as its key peers uh, in the long run. Even though they have done a good job themselves, I think also rising interest rates have helped a lot, uh, certainly in this turnaround. So what sort of driver rising interest rates are for Nordea's income? Yeah, uh, rate hikes improved uh, Nordea's uh, earnings already in the last year, and the management uh, has has stated that uh, uh, the impact uh, is between 1.2 to 1.6 billion euros uh, in this year, and some 100 million euros uh, uh, in the next year. And Nordea's uh, net interest income was some 5.7 billion euros in the last. Uh, in the last year, so this give you, gives you some, some context about, about the direct impact. And uh, it's, uh, it's of course uh, obvious that rate hikes and, and high inflation, it, it's, it's obvious that we, we are uh, seeing that uh, loan demand uh, will decrease uh, in the short term and, and, uh, and of course uh, loan, loan losses are probably going to ev uh, evaluate uh, on, on somewhat. Uh, but but after uh, after, after that, that uh, I, st I, I still think that uh, the, the impact of higher rates is, is significantly a positive effect uh, for Nordea mm. and, and other, other uh, Nordic banks. How would you describe Nordic banking market from Nordea's perspective? I think we have quite stable economies, high quality institutions in the Nordics. What would you say? Yeah, uh, the Nordic uh, banking market is uh, quite uh, concentrated, and and uh, Nordea has a meaningful um, market share market shares in in all home countries. And the market is also also quite stable, and and we have a strong societies uh, in the Nordics. And banks are also well capitalized, and and their asset qualities are strong. But uh, what comes to the growth, uh, banking is not the fastest growing sector. Uh, 
as as you may know. But there are there are some areas where where the growth is faster, uh, like sa savings uh, and and asset management business. Uh, but but overall, I think that in the long run, uh, the market growth rate will be uh, more or less in line with the uh, nominal uh, GDP. We started analyzing Nordea with buy recommendation. The whole peer group with Nordea is trading around seven times earnings. So aren't you worried, worried about Nordic real estate market? And uh, could this turn into a value trap? Because it's quite bold to say that actually the whole sector is priced wrongly. The market doesn't get it. What would you say? Well, uh, if we if we start with the real real estate uh, risks, uh, yeah, there are definitely uh, uh, risks uh, related to Nordic real estate right now. Uh, but I think that these risks are overstated. Uh, and for example, uh, Nordea's exposure uh, to commercial real estate is quite limited. Uh, and, and also their uh, CRE portfolio is, is co uh, quite conservative, in, in my opinion. And, and you must also remember that if you are talking about real estate lending, uh, uh, that banks are, are in, in, in a much, much better position than, than the equity holders or, or unsecured debt holders, because banks always ha 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 have a collateral behind the loan. So, so, uh, so the, yeah, there are definitely ri risks right now, but but uh, I think think that th those risks are overstated. And what comes to the valuation, as you said, Nordea and, and other Nordic banks are trading trading with a, a PE ratio of seven, uh, with current year estimates. Uh, these these uh, valuation levels are uh, really low uh, if you compare these these two historical ones or, or so called certified valuation multiples. Uh, in case of Nordea, uh, uh, the markets are are discount, discounting a significant drop drop in, in the bank's earnings. And, and in the re written re report, uh, we, we estimated that the justification of, of the current stock price uh, would require either, either, either loan losses uh, at, the, at the level of, of the financial crisis uh, or, or a significant decrease uh, in net interest income and, and a return to uh, virtually uh, zero interest rate levels. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, we think that, that uh, both of these uh, s scenarios are, are way too pessimistic. And, and with the current, current valuation levels, we see that the uh, Nordea's stock, stock offers much more upside potential than, than, than downside potential. And, and to conclude all, all this, I think that, uh, that uh, we see that the uh, upside potential in, in Nordea's valuation multiples and, and the strong, strong yield dividend and buyback yield offers, offers a, a really good return uh, to investors. Thanks, Matthias, for comments. As I said in the beginning, please read the extensive report and follow Nordea on Indra's platform, for example, on indra's.se. Thanks for watching the video, read analysis and make good stock picks.